So we are now at the point where we have uh, done uh, our survey and uh, we have done the, um, all the collection and we have finished collecting data in our survey and um, we want to of course analyze the data uh, for for example this particular project here as we mentioned before that in the data tab we have the small report so maybe this is enough for us this is one way of that data analysis is really it is a quick one and maybe you don't need anything else than than this how many time how many latrines have you constructed in these places and the percentage maybe you don't need anything else so if this is the case you're lucky you just have to copy paste uh, these numbers or things into your maybe uh, the report that you're that you're writing about your latrines and then you're good to go so that's all you don't need anything else just get your pictures from from the form if you if, if you have in the gallery so come here open this one copy the image paste it into your report then you're fine if you want however to do a more in-depth analysis um, um ocha has uh, has developed a tool that is called kobo excel analyzer this is um, a manual if you type excel analyzer kobo excel analyzer it will probably bring you straight away to using the Excel Analyzer link in the support of Kobo Toolbox. And then um, you can click in the website, download the, the manual in English or French, which I highly recommend that you read it because it's, it's quite good. And then you can hear they tell you like most of the thing I'm going to talk about. I mean, all the things that I'm going to talk about and probably beyond, they will be written down here in this 14-page um, manual. Uh, however, I will do it visually so you so it's more it's simpler for you. Um, so once again, I'm going to go to my, my Kobo. Uh, I'm going to go to the data tab and get to downloads and I will go to uh, Excel Analyzer. So I will download the Excel Analyzer form I'm going to create a new export so i make sure that from june the 4th to july june the 6th so maybe i have new data coming in so then it will update the, the export and will give me one with the name of my form uh, analyzer and then the day that it was created so i can click on it and i will be able to open it it's quite a large form for being an excel it's a one point something megabytes at least. Even for uh, for not so much data as I have here, I have only like 13, uh, 30, 30 rows of data, but still makes uh, for, for quite a large file. Uh, let me see if I can open it. It's opening. Um, not this one it's uh sorry uh not this one Enable. i am i'm having a small problem somewhere uh not this one i have opened many things so maybe i'm having um so here it is uh this is the how it looks cobo excel analyzer version 1.23 i haven't seen any other one i don't know if there are a newer ones the first thing uh, we need to do is uh, enable editing, of course, because if not, we cannot change anything, right? Oh, now it's opening a new one. Okay, but I enable editing and then I will be able to change uh, whatever. Oh, I think now my computer is opening like three or four times. Let's see if uh, if it resumes. Yeah, here it is. So now I can probably enable editing. <laughs> so it keeps on opening a new one. I'm going to wait and see what happens because that is what it maybe needs to do. Okay, so now it looks like it's fine. And then um, 
when 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 do we have to use the excel analyzer at least me when do i use it i use it when i have to do like a report that i only want to to go through the data once or twice so for example if i am doing a pdm post distribution monitoring of of hygiene kits so to say is one thing that we're going to do maybe once or twice or even three times during a, a short emergency project so i would use this if I do a baseline and an end line at the beginning, at the end of the project, I would use this because it's really quick to get the data in and out and it's quite simple. If you're going to do something that you follow every day, I would recommend that you go to Power BI and then you create a, a, a report and a dashboard so you can analyze the data every day, every week, every month or something like this. Um, so we have downloaded the, the form, going to data downloads ex export type. And now we have clicked already enable editing and then the first thing that we go we see is we have many tabs here some of them are in, in minuscules some of them are in minuscules this is the minuscules the capitals are where we do the analysis and the rest are configuration our form and survey and choices so the first thing we need to do is that you see that we have here a red cell we click on it and we can choose the language of the survey and in this case, I will choose default because there is nothing else. And then um, another trick that you need to always remember and always do is go to the choices, not to choice, my capitals, but choices in, in, in small letters and change A1. You have to change this list name by list space name. And then you go, you're good to go. Um, lastly, there is and clean data where you go there and you see that there's some of the numbers that are stored here with a with an error and the the, the error says number stored as text and there are many of them all of these all of these so this is a small bug that sometimes comes and sometimes it doesn't so you see like some numbers are okay some numbers are not so what you do you select one and then you co click control a or you can click one and then click this small cell here that will select everything right but i do click and control a and you can you select everything but first you have to do one trick that is described also you know in the website of kobo you have to go to file and then options and then formulas and then in calculation options you tick manual just for this minute we'll do like this and then we will click uh control a oh, he's not getting them why uh control a sorry control a i'm not able to do it so control a why i cannot if not, you can just select all the numbers like this, drag and drop. This is less elegant, but it will probably work as well. And then go to the initial one and click in the error and then convert to number. And it will convert them all very quick. If you don't do this trick of going to file, options, formulas, it will take forever. It will take long, long time. Once you have done it, you go back to automatic and then you click OK and then you're good to go. Uh, we're going to close here and then start a new video.